begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. See what would feel good for you and your body at this time. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. From here, notice if there's any tension that's present for you at this time. Anywhere in your body where your muscles are tight. Notice that and gently invite them to relax, to loosen, to let go. Relax your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just smiling. Allowing your physical body to steer your emotional body towards happiness. And notice what this feels like for you in your body to be comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Of course, there may be some discomfort, some tension. Of course, there might be some unhappiness present. But we allow and invite in whatever comfort, relaxation, and happiness we can using the body. And we take the time to notice and enjoy those qualities, really savoring them. Continue to enjoy these qualities for another moment.
and without losing those qualities, begin to involve your mind. See if there's anything positive that you'd like to tell yourself using mental talk. Any kind words you can say to yourself, perhaps words of reassurance or appreciation, perhaps complimenting yourself or simply telling yourself that you love yourself. You get to decide what to say, but use mental talk to be kind and loving to yourself in a way that feels good at this time. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. As you say kind and loving things to yourself, whatever would be resonant for you, you get to decide. To whatever extent you notice that your emotional body responds to these phrases, that you feel loved by yourself, notice that and really enjoy it. Allow yourself to soak up the love that you give yourself, because you deserve it. You deserve your own love. Of course, you may or may not feel feelings as you use mental talk to love on yourself. But if you do feel love or joy, pride or happiness or contentment, any flavor of love, notice that and really enjoy it.
to whatever extent you've cultivated a felt sense of love in your body. Feel free to keep that around as we continue to practice. And bring to mind your easy to love person or animal, whoever that might be for you. Perhaps it's a friend or family member, a small child or a pet, or even an imaginary figure or character of some kind. Perhaps just imagining a puppy or a kitten or a baby. It doesn't really matter who you pick, so long as your love for them is simple. relatively easy to connect to. And begin to cultivate love for this person whoever it is for you, perhaps by visualizing them being happy or using mental talk as you did with yourself just now, or even by directly connecting to a felt sense of love in your body. Any image or phrase or feeling is fair game so long as it's positive and wholesome and loving. Cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal. Whatever method you're using, again, if you notice it has resonance in the emotional body, if you can feel love for this person, notice that and really enjoy it.
Very good. Again, to whatever extent you've cultivated love in the body, feel free to keep that around. No need to set that aside. But at this time, bring into your awareness someone who's suffering. It could be yourself or another person. It could even be a group of people. Become aware of this person and their suffering. The life situation that they find themselves in. The kind of physical or emotional pain or challenge they might be going through in that situation. Imagine and connect to what it might be like for them. as if you're using your heart to reach out and grasp, looking for what it might feel like to be in that situation, to feel alongside them. And if our heart is open, when we do this, although it might be painful to notice that suffering, there's also a sweetness to it, a love that we can find there. Using your visual imagination, imagine this person suffering as a kind of black, tarry substance in their body. See if you can visualize that. Feeling it in your heart and imagining it in your mind's eye. And as you do so, notice that you're breathing, that you're inhaling and exhaling. And while you inhale, imagine that you are inhaling this person's suffering. That that black, tarry suffering is entering your body as you breathe. It won't hurt you. You're not taking it on permanently. You're going to transform it and heal it. When you exhale, visualize that suffering transforming into white healing light that exits your body with the breath and returns to them. A kind of balm or medicine or relief that you're sending to them through your breath.
each time you breathe. Allow yourself to connect to their suffering on the inhale, visualizing it as black tar entering your body. And as you exhale, watch it be transformed into white healing light that returns to them, providing relief from their suffering. And again, to whatever extent that you notice this process of awareness of suffering, visualizing it, entering your body and being transformed, connects you to a felt sense of love and compassion. Notice that and really enjoy it. Tasting it very particular flavor, bittersweet, like raspberries or blackberries. Enjoy that love.
Very good. Now, reflect on what this practice period has been like for you. Recall what your experience was. In particular, notice if there's anything that you might learn from this experience. Something that might be useful to you in the future. Take a moment to reflect and consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 